Okay, sergeants, if you can begin your recording, PC recording is running. Cloud is rolling. All right, Sergeant Lugo. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Subcommittee on Landmarks, Public Sighting and Dispositions. At this time, would all panelists please turn on your video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair, we are ready to begin. Good afternoon. I'm Council Member Peter Ku, acting chair of the subcommittee on landmarks, fiber sightings, and dispositions. I'm joined remotely today by Council Member Miller's Baron and some coming soon. Today, we will be rolling on two items that we heard at our December, uh, December 2nd meeting. We will vote to approve P consider LU 703, the Landmarks Preservation Commission's designation of public school 48, now known as P75Q the Robert E. Perry School as a historic landmark. The landmark site is located on the northwest corner of 155th Street and 108th Avenue in the South Jamaica neighborhood of Queens, represented by our former chair, Council Member Adrian Adams. We will also vote to approve P consider LU704, an application submitted by the New York City Health and Hospitals Corporation, pursuant to session 7385-6 of the HHC Enabling Act, requesting approval to enter into a 99-year lease, a parcel of land, on the campus of New York City Health and Hospitals Food Hall campus to commute life incorporated for the development of an eight-story residential building to provide affordable and supportive housing. The project site is located in Brooklyn in the council district represented by council member Carnegie. Both items have the support of the local council members. Council, please uh, call the roll. Council member Ku. I will I. Council member Barron. Permission to explain my vote. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, as this is the Committee on Landmarks and we're oftentimes um, incorporating information about the architectural structure, designs or uniqueness, I want to just highlight that regarding LU703, there is a significant architectural design on the exterior of the building, which is commonly known as a cartouche. And the cartouche is a hieroglyph, hieroglyphic sim symbol, and it's an oval with a horizontal line at the bottom, and it encloses text or other pictures in the uh, cartouche outline, in the cartouche's uh, framework. And the cartouche was actually um, a name that the French gave the symbol. In the Egyptian history, it was known as a chenou, but the French soldiers that came over called it a cartouche because that was the word that they used for the materials that held their ammunition. And it looked like that to them, the shape of that. So I just wanted to put that on the record. You know, it's always important to put things in a context, particularly historical context as we're talking about landmarks. And with that, I vote aye. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Barron. Councilmember Miller. Uh, 
Uh, it just as a point of clarification, which uh, HHC campus would that be located on? That's the Woodhall campus. Woodhall, right, my mind. Okay, thank you. Um, I vote aye on all. Council Member Traeger. Vote aye. By a vote of four in the affirmative, with zero in the negative and zero abstentions, LU 703 and 704 are recommended for approval to the full land use committee and the vote is held open.
Uh, who, who else are we waiting for, Jeff? Do you know? Can't hear you. We're just going to wait Member another Levin. minute to see if Council Member Levin. Uh, is he on the committee? Now he is. Oh, he is. Okay. <laughs> I didn't get that. Okay. I didn't have it. All right. Thank you. He's the newest addition, so we haven't heard from him yet. Maybe, he, did he know? Maybe he didn't know. This is uh, Chief Sergeant Arnes Rafael Perez, if I may. Counts, uh, Council Member Levin is currently chairing the Committee on General Welfare, and he's in the middle of asking questions right now. Uh, so, I, I guess if he is not available, that we could close the vote. We can close. If, if he's not available, it, then yes, I think he just close. arrived. Looks like he's coming in now. Oh, oh, good, excellent. Council Member Levin, are you there? Yes, I am. On LU 703 and 704, how do you vote? I vote aye on all. Thank you. With five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and with zero abstentions, LU 703 and 704 are recommended to the full land use committee for approval. Thank you very much. Thank Kelsey. you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Thank you. That concludes today's business. I would like to thank my colleagues, subcommittee, council, land use staff, and the uh, sergeants at arms for participating in today's meeting.